Hi, good evening. Welcome to the International Spotlight Series with me, Suman Agarwal. This session is, this live session, in fact, is a very interesting one because we always invite uh, our learner from uh, one of the countries where they are based. And today we have somebody who is from Dubai. And her name is Kumari Manali. She's an aspiring image consultant and a soft skills trainer. So why do we do this? Why do we have these live sessions on Wednesday and Saturday, uh, alternate Saturday rather, is because we want to give you an experience of what image consulting and soft skills training is all about and how are people in this industry or in this domain progressing? What are they doing? What is their experience when they are in the program? How are they coping with the learning systems and mechanisms in ICBI? What exactly are they planning for their future? So this is what we are going to talk about. And uh, I'm sure this is going to be a great experience for you even to understand the concept of image management, that what image management comprises of, what soft skills comprises of. So let's hear it all from Manali from today uh, for, uh, uh, you know, during today's session. And uh, we'll just see if uh, Manali is already here and if she's here, I would request her to just send me an invite so that we can just start our interaction in the next couple of seconds. Okay, so. This is after a very, very long time. So hi to everyone who's joined and uh, we see a great number today. And uh, of course we're going to interact after this session. Hi Manali. Hello Suman, how are you? Pleasure to Good. meet you. Good, how are you doing? I am very well and I hope the same for you. Absolutely, absolutely. It's great that you've connected peacefully. Otherwise, sometimes, you know, during the international live session, there is always some glitch, but touch wood. Fingers crossed, Fingers crossed. everything is going fine. Yes, absolutely. How are things with you? Absolutely fantastic. Uh, it's a very nice weather here in Dubai. The days I know. Very positive. I know. This is the best time in Dubai. In January, morning. it is going to be like heaven. It's heaven as of now. It's a must time to visit Dubai. I invite everyone to come here at least once in their lifetime. Absolutely, absolutely. I've been there, I've experienced it and I would say everybody, whoever wants to explore Dubai from November till Jan, Dubai is not like how it is all the time. Hot weather. Absolutely, absolutely, yes. So this is the best time for you to go explore and shop as much as possible. So how, I think, how, I think, how is the learning journey? And before we actually get into that, let's start with your introduction. Tell us about yourself. How did ICD, I mean, what was life all about before you joined ICDF? Sure, Suman. So Suman, uh, before we start, first of all, thank you so much. Thank you so much for inviting mm -hmm. me. It's an absolute honor. And uh, I hope to add some value to today's session of whoever have joined. I hope they have some takeaways from this session. So. We just spoke about it. Guys, can you hear me? Hi guys, can you hear me? Just want to check if I have logged out. Okay. We were just anticipating this and it happened. So we'll just wait for Manali to join back. Can you all hear me? Fantastic. Thank you so much for confirming and we'll just wait for Manali to uh, join in once again. Yeah, yeah we've lost Manali because of some uh, connection uh, glitch. So once she's here, we can start our interaction. In the meantime, if you have any questions for me, please feel free. Okay, so Manali is back over here. Great. 
eight. Manali. I am so sorry. Oh my God. <laughs> it really took me by surprise. Yeah, anyway. I was just saying something and we lost you and I'm like, no, not today. <laughs> <laughs> Please, oh God. Okay. So, yeah. Uh, so I'm a content and conference producer and I'm currently based in Dubai. I have mm -hmm. been in this industry for past 10 years and uh, this industry is something wherein there requires a lot of B2B collaboration with private and government entities. It's a massive involvement. Um, mm. It's like enhancing, you know, businesses for our clients. We act as a third party. Um, also, you know, this is one industry where I get to meet a lot of CEOs and high, uh, highly recognized industry professionals on a day-to-day -day basis. So that's a lot of learning experience for me. Recently, I had a great honor of meeting Mr. Marshall Goldsmith, who is a world-renowned leadership guru. Right. So, and it was a very surreal experience, uh, you know, meeting and hearing his thoughts. I have also produced a couple of short films. Uh, so I'm a small time, you know, film producer, uh, one of which was like uh, awarded at Sharjah Film Festival. Wow. Of years back. Yes. So tell me out of all these things that you've done. Yes. And you've been a corporate professional, almost like a corporate professional for a decade. Yes. Producer. Now, Guma Firake, how have you come to this industry of image consulting and soft skills training? I mean, what really inspired you? from within that you know okay this is now going to be my calling and this is where i want to like you know put my hands into how did this happen actually Suma, you know it's a very interesting story let me tell you and this is not like recently i have come to know about icpi i think it was just meant to happen and i just manifested it if you tell me hmm. so this story dates back to 2016 so and then i was in chennai, chennai. so i i was in a very good job and one of my colleague come best friend has also joined and she's seeing me now. So I was in a very good job, which had all the perks that anyone could be envious of. Trust me. And actually many were. <laughs> I just want to be humble myself, but actually it was a very nice job. But then there always existed some kind of a dissatisfaction. Hmm. And I wanted to explore an opportunity where, you know, I could enhance my individuality. I would be an individual contributor where I could make a name for myself. And then, you know, boom, one fine day I was doing this random Google search and I see, I saw, I see this ICBI ad, you know, but mark my point over there. Why did I see ICBI ad? Because there must be something which, you know, along what lines I'm looking for. So I had that little bit of clarity on what I wanted to do. I was very specific that I wanted to do something along these lines because I thought that I already have that inherent quality and I just wanted to brush up on my skills and also that could add value to my existing career. And then I approached ICBI and then it was a lot of calls and everything. But unfortunately, at that point of time, it did not work out. But then come Corona, you know, and uh, all the challenges that almost all of us have experienced, um, it was, I think, just a push. I was like, now is the time to, you know, pick this up. So there I was. I uh, took this up. I joined ICBI and then the rest is history in a nutshell. Wow. That is so amazing. And, and let me tell you that although everybody says that Corona actually was the worst experience of their life, mm -hmm. I would say for some people, Corona has been life changing. You know, if you see a positive side of what happened, you know, there was a lot of destruction. There was a lot of life loss. Uh, there was a lot of, uh, I would say, uh, mental uh, illness at that point of time. Mental health was really disturbed. But at the same time, a lot of people also got an opportunity to explore their cap capability and explore a lot of things about themselves. They got time to sit back and think about what is right, what is wrong, what works for them, what doesn't work for them. Introspection, this was the best time, I would say. Because otherwise, everybody is in so much of rush rush every day. This was a time when you were forced to sit and think. That what is life all about? Is this what I really want to do in life? Is this what I really want to 
be all my life or you want to step back and think that okay let me put myself you know two steps back and think that what is it that i want to do maybe some people would have not realized their inner potential if they did not have the time to think about themselves absolutely so man i wouldn't deny that fact uh, it was a transformational phase for many of them i would say it was one for me uh, the times were not easy i mean that applies to all but then if it, then definitely you know it's all about your re- really uh, resilience and your right. endurance uh, uh, it definitely you know pushed me into a very introspective mode and that's where it all started because you know when it was like make it or break it so, so you know both you have to choose and both you have to go through hardships so it's better go through the hardships of making it rather than breaking it absolutely absolutely i second that completely so how is your classroom experience when you or how is rather your classroom experience uh meeting diverse people from different background uh different age groups different experiences uh is it something which you felt overwhelming when you started or you were like absolutely comfortable and everybody like mixed around with each other comfortably so what was your uh, point of view and what was your experience all about in this actually suman one word it was very exciting trust me i mean uh, exciting in many ways exciting that i was coming to know about uh, new things some of the things which were known but you know you just forget sometimes and you need that little nudge that okay this exists and you need to focus on that second thing like you mentioned diverse backgrounds you know diverse age groups i i just felt you know there is a lot of untapped potential and also surprised to see the zeal and enthusiasm of everyone you know everyone came with a very positive mindset and they were like everyone is a motivated individual and they were like you know they have to either you know do something with their life and make a name for themselves like you have a college pass out just a you know fresher you have homemakers uh you have again someone who wants to return from a career break so this is just to name a few i mean also the class you know the kind of perspectives that they bring in is also very different so all in all i would say it's a very exciting experience and i'm just uh, thrilled to see the you know kind of zeal enthusiasm people have to you know add value to their own life at the same time to other people's life because you know first of all i strongly advocate that everyone needs to know about soft skills and image secondly you know if you are very good at it why not you know and catch it by being one consultant and you know imparting the same knowledge to others absolutely. so yeah absolutely thrilled yes absolutely and uh the more what i would say that you know it's such an amazing experience when you are in the classroom when you get to see different people and they have different perspectives yes most people expect that you know people would be from their own age group from the same age group but when you have people who are younger than you people who are older than you people of your same age group with different background different mindset from different nationalities it's such a great learning experience and i always believe and a lot of people a lot of influential people say that you know you are who you uh, you know who around with or you surround yourself through that so yes that is very very important and of course if you have people who are giving you that kind of exposure although it is a virtual platform but you still get a lot of exposure by meeting different kind of people you make friends you interact with them and sometimes there is an opportunity to even actually go and meet them you know in different country different uh, places and that's like a wow experience for everybody actually it did- Uh, i uh, actually i would add to that point like uh, truly dikho because there are many uh, you know students or uh, learners who have joined from middle east so dubai is one place as such and i have been able to make quite a lot of new friends you know on and off we interact and you know because sometimes when it, you are away from home you know you tend to make friends through these community 
communities and then it becomes like a home away from home mm -hmm. so yes on a personal level as a, also it has helped a lot absolutely absolutely so how do you think icdi is preparing you to develop as an independent professional uh you know definitely the kind of courses icbi has to offer uh you know uh, an overarching thing is a soft skill and image consultant but there are little things niche areas where they have a lot of knowledge to offer hmm. i personally you know benefited a lot from some of the topics that i would like to mention like negotiation skills uh leadership skills uh sales ready skills these are some of the skills which i think even if my job is a conference producer i need to be aware of these skills and i think in bits and pieces we knew it but i think icb i just gave it a structure and some of the things uh, you know uh, where you have time to introspect and how you can link to your existing career so these to uh, topics you know has really really helped me enhance my knowledge so, and um, also in terms of the image you know i have a basic understanding of the you know the styling that you should look good this will fit you but you know the technicalities there are a lot of technicalities actually involved in this which we are unaware of so you know also this type i have come to know a lot more about styling uh, you know um, how it has a lot of impact on your personality how it helps build your personal image so you know it has kind of just brushed up and now i take a little extra effort to uh, you know on my appearance so you know i'm very mindful of you know before i go for shopping or before i get ready for any appearance so it is definitely helping me uh, you know enhance my individuality and on a personal level it's uh, you know contributing a lot absolutely yeah, i completely agree with everything that you have said specifically So, what do you wish to do after you are certified in both the streams? I mean, do you have any plans, or you will think once you are certified? I mean, how do you go about it? Absolutely, I cannot wait to finish this course. You know, which uh, something that which started as a second career choice, I think it's slowly in the next couple of years it's going to be my full time, you know, choice. So, you know, once I am, I get my certificate. Uh, you know i will definitely look at becoming a freelance uh, soft skills and image consultant and i will be more than happy to impart my knowledge to one and all uh, personally i mean uh, i truly believe that one not only the corporate or the working professionals should have a knowledge of this but i think every individual uh, you know should know about or have a basic understanding of this true absolutely and you know the most important thing that you need to keep in mind is that it's it's a life skill yes it's, no, it's, skill. it's an essential skill so it's not something which is like only when you think that you will need at one point of time you will probably think about it or you will consider it it's like every day you have to manage your image it's not like a fixed deposit it, that you do something exactly. once and it's done how you eat food on regular basis daily basis you know you have to manage your image you have to work on your soft skills on every day basis so it absolutely it's like either you have to be a provider or a seeker you have no choice absolutely i wouldn't deny that uh, suman i would just you know uh, uh, mention one instance so once i was having this class and my husband was here and i was on this speaker and uh, attending this uh, class interview skills so you know on the sideways he was also listening to whatever the was going on the class so you know he still remembers few of the things and he tells me okay i didn't know this existed so you know <laughs> that's why passive seekers are also there true 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 absolutely i we always say that if you don't want to take the services of an image consultant and a soft skills trainer then you have to become one you know exactly. either you provide that service or you take that service there is no third option exactly truly agree that oh, yes that is what i mean people may not understand it right now but sooner or later see when we started we started with just three students today we are all over the world so this this is this means that there is tremendous need for image consulting and soft skills it's not that i mean people cannot deny the fact that you don't need image consulting or soft skills training because 
every day you are meeting people and the most important thing is that you are uh, answerable to yourself for the way you look for the way you carry yourself the way you think the way you feel the way you act everything is important and self image is more important than how you project yourself in front of public absolutely everything depends upon how you think about yourself absolutely it has a lot of impact on one's psyche you know like make a little effort just see the change make a little effort to dress up yourself and see how you feel about it so and you when it has impact on your psyche you look good you feel good and you behave good you also attract good so i truly believe in that it's absolutely. an everyday thing truly and, and i think you know, I, 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 I so confidently say that nobody can deny the fact that image management is not Uh, required image management and soft skills are the need of the hour yeah i think it's an i think most of the people are not aware of it but that's what like i like mentioned before it's not only for working professionals i think it's for everyone anyone you know even if you don't want to become a consultant or you're not looking at a career path at least just attend and know about the things and make changes to your life you know it adds a lot of value and i think you know um, it's growing significantly it it's uh, uh, growing at a compounding rate and uh, you know people it's like a revolution and i Absolutely. i'm truly happy i'm truly happy that you know people are becoming aware of it understanding you know the importance of it and you know also understanding how crucial it is you may not realize at this point of time but it does add value when you are mindfully using that and you make an effort you know either to uh, talk in a, in a certain way or present yourself in a certain way or you look in a certain way you know it definitely leaves a lasting impact on the person you are talking to of course of course i absolutely you know agree with every single point that you have mentioned so uh like i said that you know i mean when we started in 2009 and we formed a batch you know we started with just three students and i was the trainer today we are present in almost 28 countries so image consulting is definitely becoming popular and it has really gained a lot of popularity because people are getting a lot of work so according to you you think that image consulting is or going to be on the rise in future absolutely absolutely suman it's in and around us you see social media it's all about personal branding it's all about overall confidence enhancing overall confidence and you see you cannot deny the fact that we are living in a very highly competitive world hence you know everyone is recognizing that it's important that uh, you know they are realizing that how significant the personal branding is you know and here comes the image management professionals or image consultants you know they will help you create a very positive image about yourself uh, they will help you find yourself uh, uh, you know help you curate a style of your own which is very authentic and you know whether it be online or offline especially everything is online as of now so social media presence is very very important and also you know globalization has been extremely on a rise we work in diverse work environments cross cultural it's very important to understand the cultural nuances because we live uh, you know we work in in a mixed culture the dress code the communication styles something that suits me wouldn't suit to you so we need to ma- you know make a balance at that you so also in a layman term if you have to understand see all the sports personalities see all the celebrities see all the business owners and also you know since entrepreneurship has been on a rise in past few years True. every startup guru or entrepreneur who wants to make a you know who wants to sell his brand in the market also focuses on the personal branding whether if you see ashneer grover or vinita singh you know their brands are linked to their brand image right. so i think this is just on the work front but also for individuals i mean i strongly advocate i mean you must have realized as of now i strongly advocate this for one and all absolutely you need to be very polished of how you talk how you look how you feel strongly advocate that and, and people also give you weightage based on how you carry yourself absolutely. how you present yourself how you communicate 
And yeah, absolutely. In, in fact, even before you communicate, the first impression that is formed, it's primarily on the basis of what they see and not they hear, not what they hear. So what they see is everything, everything about your visual presence, your visual communication, you know, your clothing, your grooming, your body language and etiquette. So that absolutely. is it's very it is so important. Yeah. It is of a paramount importance that you carry yourself absolutely perfectly. I'm not saying you have to be perfect, but you also have to be mindful. I would say I would exactly. use the word mindful. So be mindful and understand the fact that people treat you the way they see you. Absolutely. And your perception is just made in the first 30 seconds of meeting anyone. Not so it's very 30 important. seconds. Manali, no longer 30 seconds. It is at the blink of the eye. Like, in it seems to be yes, 30 perhaps. seconds. Perhaps, perhaps, you know, a blink of the eye. So it's very important that, you know, the non-verbal cues, you know, convey the message before you open your mouth. True, true. Very true. And where do you think soft skills uh, stand in today's times, Manali? Again, Suman, like I have already mentioned, we live in a very highly competitive environment. And also, you know, it is a very dynamic and interconnected world. So soft skills plays a very pivotal role both on the personal level be at your home and also professional level be it your office and also you know technology most of the things happen through technologies now so how you collaborate how you communicate it, it is becoming increasingly crucial because most often than not you know that personal touch is lost when you communicate through technology so it's very important that you know the soft skills that are required when you know view, when you interact with your online audience offline yes. certainly there is no doubt in that also when it comes to workplace you know soft skills will help you in your leadership styles it adds to your problem solving skills and also it adds a lot to the innovation part you know uh, also i didn't say you know most of the things in this because as I mentioned, we are in a highly technological world now and most of the things are going automated now with the invent of the AI as of now, you know, I think soft skills is the only skill that is going to endure everything at this point of time. So I would say that soft skills, you know, is very pertinent for everyone. I, I think it is in the world of AI, soft skills is going to be your saving grace absolutely it is going to be like you know one skill which is like going to differentiate between an individual and an organization so that's going to give a human touch to it so yeah soft skills is very very important so so tell me manali what are the resources that you uh, find valuable for continuous learning and development is it like podcast i mean listening to podcasts reading books or uh, doing some research on internet social media what are the resources that you feel keeps you relevant uh, well i mostly like reading books mm -hmm. so I, i'm a little um, old i have a very old and traditional approach still so i like reading books on and off i do take help of technology and i do if any if there is any question on my mind i do definitely google search or youtube but I still prefer books over anything uh, I certainly go by the book, uh, you know, um, Atomic Habits. It's a it's an all time favorite of mine by James. Mine Clear. too. Mine too. Oh my God, this is, that is uh, that is a life changer. You know, Absolutely. it helps you break your old habits and also cultivate new ones. But it's a work in progress. You know, I must have read this book like two to three times, and still, you know, there are things which I need to remind myself time and again. So that is one book. Um, I like another one book which is very women centric i wouldn't say I, I i'm not like a false feminist but i would just say it's very women centric that is untamed by glennon doyle so i think every woman should read that and on and off uh, i read or i i don't read but i listen to bhagavad gita you know i think this is the best management book you know it's highly underestimated it's the best management book that I have ever read in my life. And it's I've marked that book. on my audio book. So yes, I am uh, going please. to read that. On YouTube. And you know, the on YouTube, what you have, had that has got, he's a very nice orator. So it, it's very pleasing to your ears. And I can 
hear it again and again. So I think I would strongly advise everyone to at least listen to it. Uh, reading can be slightly tedious and you might not understand the meaning of it, but I strongly advise that you listen to it at least once in your lifetime. Right. It will solve 90% of the problems in your life. Correct, correct. Absolutely. That's that's in my bucket list. So that is going to be the next book that I'm going to Great. hear. Yeah. So how do you manage your time and prioritize your learning activities with other commitments that you have in life? So how do you manage? How do you balance? Because I'm sure sometimes it might be a little challenging also. So what do you do? What's your mantra to keep things in uh, proper balance? I mean, how do you balance anything? Well, do you want me to be specific? But to be honest, batao, uh, batao. <laughs> um, it's not easy. I wouldn't paint a very rosy picture because I'm a working professional. Um, it's tough because five days I'm nine to six in the office. That's my working hours plus, you know, going, coming. And then you also need a bit of time for your know, personal improvement. So my technically five days goes into that, that. And then over weekends, I have my classes. So four and four, half, four and a half hours technically goes into that. And then you're completely exhausted. So it's not easy. I wouldn't paint a rosy picture. But then again, it is like you have to set your priorities. This is what I have chosen and I will find a way to do it. So I manage my time accordingly. You know, uh, it's tough. It's strict. I have to be very mindful of my time of where I invest my time and with whom I invest my time. So that ways I have to, you know, like I'm very strict about my working hours. I go to office. Sometimes I'm in a conferences industry. So technically I do sometimes have work over weekends, but then I do set aside my time and you know dedicate those four and a half hours of my classes over the weekends see if, if you want something in life that you wish to have you badly desire yes you have you have to sometimes literally kill yourself to manage time exactly you know, you know so i have i have realized this the hard way because I was very keen, very keen on doing a particular program because I, it was not something for any commercial use. More than that, it was for my own self-development, personal enhancement, and I wanted certain eye-opening experiences. And at that point of time, I had my ICDA office work. I also had my ailing dad who was in Dehradun and I had to be with him. But... I also had my exams at that point of time for level one. So now I can't give explanation to anybody that I have this situation. I need to go to one, you know, my hometown and I have this work and I have that work. I used to actually sit till, you know, 4.35 in the morning because the whole day I used to be in the hospital and it was a very distracting environment. So the whole night I would sit and I was, I would be so excited about it. I would never think that and you know, everything has come on my head all together and things like that. I used to always look forward to that 11 p.m. till like 4.35 a.m. time. Because that like was like me time because I wanted to do it. Yeah. I would always right. see the larger picture that what is in front of me, what is ahead of this entire program that I'm going to do. And I never felt that, you know, I'm feeling completely, you know, drained out or anything like that. Yeah, of course, I did not get sleep. I did not get rest. And it was taking a toll, but no complaints because I decided it, it was my decision. Exactly. Exactly. I chose to do it, so I'll find my time to do it and I'll manage yeah, the because, course. See, time management is one thing. The willingness to actually adjust time is very important. Yes. So that willingness, say, you are able to manage time, you are able to balance your work, life, your learning, your personal, uh, you know, circumstances, everything gets balanced, provided you are somebody who is a good manager. Yes, truly. And it, it's all starting, it, it all starts with having the willingness to do and also being mindful about it. So it's all about with your, you know, uh, how your mental framework is. Absolutely. Absolutely. And I'm sure all those people who are really looking forward to do something with this program, who want to get certified, who want to seriously pursue this program and take it ahead post certification. I'm sure that they actually make up time, even if they don't have time. 
Yes, definitely. They have to. So they even if they don't have a choice, they would still make up something or the other. They will find time to do this and make sure that they also get certified well on time. Yeah, hold up. Exactly, they have to. It, it's all about if you want to. If you want to make a change to your life, you have to go for it. Absolutely, I I I completely agree with that. So one last question: uh, What advice would you give to all those people who are contemplating on becoming an image consultant and a soft skills trainer? One word: Go for it. It's truly a life change. Changing experience, you know, you build your personal network. Uh, you have a robust personal brand. You know, it adds to your confidence, overall confidence. It also gives you a sense of accomplishment. Uh, it, you know, I would say ultimately, overall, I would say it's very empowering. It's very empower empowering to add value to your own life and also adding value to others' life. There can be nothing more empowering than this. Go for it. Very true, absolutely. And all those people. And why would I say that? Uh, go for it. I would also, uh, you know, support this statement. Go for it. Why? Because not because I am the founder and the director of ICBI, but I have also seen the success stories of people. Yes, I have seen absolutely no doubt in that. I have seen people thrive after doing this program. I have seen underconfident, broken people rise and shine. So there is a magic to this madness. I'm sure this is madness when you are in the program because you start by thinking, "Ye kya ho raha hai mere saath mein?" Because this is something which is very new to a lot of people. Absolutely. Me, when I when I started with image consulting, I was also like, hmm, "Where am I? You know, what the hell am I doing?" Because this is something which I've never, you know, done, and I don't have any experience about it. But you have to get into something to. Gain experience. You have to do something to get experience. If, if it is an unknown zone, you will never realize what it feels to be inside it. And also, Suman, I would like to add: you never know what impact you are leaving on others' life. You know, like for myself, when I was contemplating taking, contemplating taking this course, I read a lot of success stories, you know, on the website, and that kind of inspired me a lot. You know, so you never know who you are, uh, who you are inspiring, who you are empowering, without saying a word, without being physically for them. So I would definitely say, you know, go for it. Absolutely. You know, and when it adds charm to your uh, personality, that is also indirect way of inspiring someone else. Let alone be just like taking this course and being an individual, being a consultant, or being a professional. Adding value, just being confident. You know, people see you and get inspired. So it's like a social work. In fact, there is Judith's quote, who which lives with me, and I always say this: that when you don't know what you don't know, you don't know what you're missing. So exactly. unless and until you know it, you will not realize the value of this program. And once you realize the value, there is no looking back. So absolutely great. Totally it was great interacting with you. Now let's open some questions. If anybody has any questions for you, Manali, or they have any question for me, uh, let's quickly take them. Another, say about five minutes. If they have any questions, we will address. If they don't have, then we can close this live. So sure. everybody who's here, who's a, a part of the audience, you're most welcome to share your questions if you have any. And uh, Myself and Manali will be more than happy to address the questions that you have for us. So we have five minutes. Please share your questions, and uh, we will give you the answers. Before we close the live, let's spend five minutes with your questions if you have any, and then we can say goodbye. Manali, any time you're coming to India? I'll be there in the December. I'm planning. Yeah, wow. I'll be visiting. Yes. Any time. I hope to you come to Mumbai. Please do visit. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. I hope to meet you in person. Sure, absolutely. I do. I, you know, I hope just that people have not gone into a contemplating mode now, thinking they need <laughs> to become a professional and just throw some questions here. Yeah, 
Yeah, yeah, please. Uh, I mean, I'll be more than happy. So, do you give job placements or any other kind of experience? Uh, Nupur, no, we don't have placements. But if there are companies who share any kind of opportunity with us, we share it with our consultants. If anybody is interested, we more than uh, we are more more than happy to support them and get them placed if they get selected. But this is not a placement assistance uh, program. Uh, this is pure only an entrepreneurial program or for people who want to have professional development in their existing work, business or job. So most people who join our program actually leave their job and start with us because or they do this parallelly so that at some point of time they can do image consulting and soft skills training on a full-time basis. I think I am the best example for that because I'm doing it parallelly and you know next few years I plan to we, we, you know, in fact, we never recommend people to leave the job and do this because a, exactly it doesn't it, make any sense. Case. Yes, yes, true that. No, and I think I'm the best example any financial burden. Yes, 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 true that. Anyone else who want to ask? Otherwise, we can close the live. A lot of people have started uh, going in a thinking mode. That's what I said. I hope they have not gone just as of yet in a very contemplating mode of becoming an <laughs> image consultant. That's okay. They are more than welcome to still ask questions. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Curiosity will always lead to something good, something positive. So even if you're curious to know what image consulting and soft skills training is, do not hesitate to ask any question that you have in mind. At the instance, you know, it first raises the awareness of why it is important. And that is the best part of it. The first couple of classes amazing okay. okay there is one question uh, manjiri it was a pleasure listening to the insightful discussion the contemporary requirements and everything related to image were wonderfully discussed thank you so much manjiri i am glad that you found it useful thank when is the course you. starting uh, nandini you need to connect with the uh, respective team to understand when the course because we keep starting courses at different uh, time span so you need to find out you can send uh, this question to me on a direct message or to ICBI and we'll give you the answer ma'am I'm pursuing soft skills training course but with that I feel I'm unable to manage my job oh so Manali you can share some insights uh, well, uh, sorry, forgot Rashmi. the name of the person. Rashmi. Rashmi. So, Rashmi, first of all, it's very good that you are pursuing the soft skills training course. That means you want it, you need it, and you feel that that is there is a requirement in your life. Now, when you say you are unable to manage your job, I have already mentioned that, you know, uh, if you really want something, you will have to find time for it. Maybe you will have to sacrifice a bit of your social life. Maybe you will have to sacrifice a bit of your family time. You know, you, maybe you might have to take a little bit of additional family members. Maybe your husband can help you if you're married or ask your family members. Weekends have to be sometimes sacrificed. Well, you know, as I have already, already mentioned that I wouldn't paste a bro, uh, I mean, pose a rosy picture of it. But then again, if you see it practically on Saturdays and Sundays, you spend four and a half hours. Unless you have have other commitments it's only four and four and a half hours out of 24 hours so still you have like the morning time and the evening time you know like after six o'clock you still have got time to go out you know chill to socialize so in a way if you see it's again it starts with all the willingness the mindset and a little bit of sacrifice is what i would say so and if, i think Rashmi, this is just a i a, just a phase when you are in the learning process once you get certified you will feel that you've accomplished something really really big and uh, believe me 
managing icbi managing home managing uh, social life and managing the program that i was doing which i've just done about some uh, years ago one more program i am telling you that was a tremendous pressure on my head with my father being very serious in the hospital and uh, of course we i had other family members too but still there was a lot of pressure but after i got certified i felt that i have achieved the world so understand and start with the end objective in mind always start with the end in mind that what will i achieve if i do something you've already started and you've already you know you already have a plan in mind so just be excited about it and i'm sure that all the other small nitty gritties and all those pitfalls will be ignored by your mind so don't think about small things and petty things ye sab temporary hai thoda sa push karna hoga of course you have to push yourself you have to push your family members you have to also ask for support from them a lot of things need to be little shuffled here and there but of course the result is going to be beautiful rupali even my job as an educator is very taxing of course wonder how will i manage rupali you got the answer so if i if you have any other question besides what we have said please feel free to ask and we'll be more than happy to address okay so i think we have taken quite a few questions if you still have anything another one minute and then we can close the live manali thank you once again for being a part of this uh, live session it was wonderful to have you and this conversation took a very very beautiful uh, turn in terms of understanding the mindset understanding the challenges and how you need to be positive with what you're doing and always keep that end objective in mind so that's something which is very very important and i'm glad that you are still very highly motivated to kick start your uh, you know certification and the pro process post certification so that's really really amazing so i really wish you a lot of success needless to say that we are always there with our students okay. with our consultants any time any any kind of requirement that is there you know you already have my number just yes i'm just a whatsapp away thank you thank you so much suman for inviting me it was an absolute honor and i hope i have been able to add some value to all the audience of course, that were present of course. here i hope you know they realize the importance of soft skills and image in their everyday life Absolutely. even if not from a career point of view i think for you know day to day of their working i think they can just take classes and be aware of it so thank you for having me pleasure thank you everybody and wishing all of you all the very best i'll see you next time once again i think the next live is on wednesday so if you would like to join at 3 o'clock i'll be happy to see you there thank you once again manali and wishing you all the very thank best thank you everyone bye bye thank you very much thank you everyone bye bye